a YouTube world hammer time here operation ice cream Germany or Italy 7 and Italy's done so I just Italy's eighth turn just beat out madman's Russia's eighth turn just on time wise I just wanted to be uh, wanted to make that a fact so I could have turned off the video right now and made it a quicker turn <laughs> anyways uh, Italy 8 ain't gonna waste any time uh, the Allies won. I cannot get the right point back. Well, actually, I didn't even count the rest of the points here. Hold on. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No right. All right, five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We ended with 11, so uh, Leningrad, Warsaw, Berlin, Paris, and Italy. Rome, sorry. So they took the right point away this last round. So that's five. We got Tokyo, which the Allies went about 90% over here. Uh, over here we have Tokyo at six, Shanghai seven, Hong Kong eight, Manila 9 and the resource is 10 and the Imperial is 11 so we we were counting on this oil point down here uh, to have to do three of the islands plus Romania <clears throat> and we lost out on that so um, there is nothing I can do with Italy so I'm not gonna waste anybody's turn we're all tired, so the uh, the Allies have held the Axis to only 11 victory points. Uh, we did go G1, so we brought the Allies in, just like when I went J1 last game, and that's what I got. We got a horde of Allies coming in on us, so I'm gonna just scan the board real quick. Uh, this whole fleet's down here. I didn't even move it. They they fortified. America came in and took those. I'm not even going to take... Uh, he brought this two transports up and took northern Italy. Uh, so these two guys are out. Um, so I could have countered, but I'm not going to. It's not even worth it. I... I I don't get the point. I, 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 we don't get the right point. We'll still be short, maybe five. So, so anyways, it was a great game, man. Uh, I had to block down here a lot, like with twenty some odd units, and my air force was down here most of the up until round six, until the allies finally they they knew they couldn't get into the med. So they came here and I kind of figured they might be trying to poke into the Baltic Sea here maybe to, you know, you got the Berlin, the Warsaw, and even the Leningrad point from the Baltic Sea. So I had to load up in Denmark. So at one point when they were here, I had to keep loaded up in Gibraltar because they could have came one, two into Rome uh, during the sixth, sixth round. So they finally went up there to uh, Norway uh, last round and because this was blocked and this was blocked. So they went up there to Norway and I figured they were going to hit Leningrad but uh, they saw the easier route was just to take the right point away and uh, leave Leningrad alone. So job well done there by the Allies. So great game over here man uh, going into round 8 for Russia they only had one land unit in all of Russia and uh, only Leningrad had been taken Moscow all this was bare of Russian troops and still Moscow and Stalingrad stood so that was uh, that was quite interesting I had some uh, 10 infantry. 
Italians, but I, I knew. He had ATC and he had a bunch of Air Force. I didn't even bring it all up. Uh, he brought it all up with some infantry and a few airdrops and just wiped it out. So I knew what that wasn't going anywhere, but it was worth a shot, you know. So, um, over here, uh, you know, we, Wojtek, uh, last round, I, I let Wojtek learn this game. I really didn't force him to do anything, uh, I wanted to, but... So, the only time I said anything was last round, he wanted to leave his fleet in 20. And uh, I had told him, I said, I said, you better be careful doing that because the American fleet here at a naval base is going to block you. And they already had Java. And, uh... He yeah, bought two transports over here for UK, so and had his bombers all here. He had a third one, but it got was taken up there. So um, it was a good lesson because that's exactly what America did. They uh, stacked here for the last oil, so they could counter. All he had was three uh, transports that could come around here. Uh, slide 20 to 21 to. Palu and down and drop, but there's such a massive force here, it would have gotten destroyed. And the Americans blocked him in 35 and blocked him in 43, and then CW came over with its five warships and laid a block here. So that way the Japan fleet couldn't do anything. So Japan's turn eight just went here and destroyed all the transports, CW and America. Um, which at that time, transports didn't have to do anything. They had already blocked, and the Japanese came down, and uh, these guys were gone anyways because this American fleet came in, um, which it really didn't matter. The UK had picked up a couple guys, and uh, on his turn, and went over to Salibs, but I had emptied it out of all the fighters and stuff because. Uh, we only had three oil anyway, so it was no matter. Uh, he could have opened that up, and uh, he couldn't reach Manila, but it didn't matter whether this fell or not. So it didn't affect the Imperial Point or Oil Point. The Oil Point was already gone. So anyways, um, got burnt here on on uh, being blocked. Moose Cow did a good blocking on, I guess I'm kind of doing a game recap here. So Moose Cow did a great blocking on Voitex fleet that was sitting off Hong Kong in 20. So they already had Java and then uh, so by blocking off these two oil li islands or er, uh, Voitex had six here, six infantry but um, UK had used some transports and bomber drops or something and took it over, or no, used the Air Force, came over, because he has ATC, wiped out the 6th Infantry, went back and landed, and then Commonwealth's turn 7, took transport and went 1, 2, 3, and dropped off into an empty Sumatra that was under Japanese control. It was empty, though, because the UK had wiped out the 6th Infantry, and took this away so then that's that was after america had blocked so they did a nice blocking and then so the all allies coordinated great moose cow blocked the islands down here fortified here in new uh dutch guinea to make sure new dutch guinea couldn't be taken or when it was it was going to be absolutely obliterated so they stacked here and moose cow blocked the japanese fleet with the American fleet. Then UK's turn, Madman came in and wiped out the 6th Infantry here and went back and landed. And then Commonwealth's turn, 7, Madman took uh, his transport and came over three spots and landed in 
and unoccupied Japanese Sumatra, which took away the fourth oil island. And so since these were blocked and Japan couldn't get down here to fight for them to get any of these two back, and if he would have went here in New Dutch Guinea with six men, because that's all he had was three transports, six men and maybe one bomber drop from here, eight men, he's got a massive amount of planes, uh, just a stack of horde that they were just going to come in and, and take it right over. So it wasn't even worth it. <laughs> so it's the oil point. We lost it. Uh, we had to Romania, and we were hoping. We, were, we really were counting on the three oils because the fleet over here... Allied fleet just wasn't really, they weren't putting much pressure. They were really coming over here on, on Axis Europe. So we were counting on uh, this, this oil point. But hey, it's no problem, man. I've lost the oil points before and everything else. So it's a great learning. So this has been a great game. Uh, again, Operation Ice Cream. Italy turn eight here. We're going to go ahead and concede because there's no point in wasting anybody's turn. Uh, Axis at 11, Leningrad, Warsaw, Berlin, Paris, Rome, Tokyo, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Manila, the resource point from up there and over here, and Imperial Point. This last eighth round, the Allies broke the Reich Point. Uh, and this last round they broke the oil point so it took us from 13 to broke the right down to 12 well that was this last they broke this one first so this is really what we were so we ended at 11 so I want to thank Madman and Moose Cow uh, for a great great game. I love playing them guys. They're really good and they only make me better Not as good as them yet, but they're making me better game game after game and Voitech Greg, I appreciate it, man. I'm glad you played Glad you got back uh, played your first YouTube game and I don't know how many years So it was really great playing with you and my teammate in the tournaments So we're gonna drag you back and make you play again. So I hope you guys are all getting some games in and uh, having fun. Play gentleman style, you know, all game long in all games with Madman and me and whoever else plays with us. We play a gentleman's game and you know, you miss something or want to change in a non com after your turn's already posted and no one else has gone. Shoot, we just put it in group chat and it's done with. Uh, so, and, and moose cows like that too, man. Uh, so we, it's great playing YouTube games against players that not, 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 or uh, that players that are not, <laughs> players that are not only great, but also are great to play with, man. Friendly. They play by the rules, just like I do. But when it comes to non-coms or forgetting an attack and doing it at the end of non-com and you know i mean live play we would we would see all that so it's good to play like that and here's the axis killer bella say hi oh hi you're the one that wiped out maybe you were the one that lost the game for us by killing all my troops <laughs> right so did you help out madman and moose cow and beat dad for him yeah. Yeah? Are you going to do it again or not? You're not going to help me? I'm you're going to go... Are you, oh, you going to help me next time? Oh, you're actually going to win? They heard that. Hey, hey. Okay. Didn't hear that. Say bye, YouTube world. Bye, YouTube world. Ice cream's done. Ice cream's <laughs> done. That's right. All right. Hammer time out.